Hello, and welcome to the VCIC training videos. My name is Patrick Vernon from UNC Keenan Flagler. I've been running VCIC since 2003 when we had four regional events. I've seen a lot of amazing teams through the years, met a lot of great VCs and startups. These videos are intended to help you learn from all of them. In this introductory video, I'll walk you through what to expect from the other videos. We'll talk a little bit about venture capital and how VCIC fits that world, and we'll dive into some more details to help you start thinking like a venture capitalist. Let's start with what you can expect from the other videos. I've broken everything down into short five to 10 minute videos addressing specific topics. The videos are divided into three categories. We'll start with a crash course in venture capital, then we'll go into a framework for screening startups, and we'll end with some specific tips on how to play the VCIC game. In our VC 101 section, we'll do a brief overview of venture capital as an industry. We'll define venture capital, and we'll look at the three basic functions of a VC's job. In the second section, we'll walk through a framework I've developed for screening startups called VC Razor. It's a distillation of what I've learned working with scores of venture capitalists at VCIC events. In the last set of videos, we'll dig more deeply into other aspects of the VCIC game. We'll look at venture capital math, deliverables you need to turn in, term sheets, how to come up with valuations based on exit analysis, and other strategies you might consider as you compete. You can watch the videos in order or jump to any topic that interests you. For example, if you want to dive into exit strategy, find the B7 exit strategy video and go straight there. All right, let's take a quick look at venture capital. Venture capital has really only been around the last 50 years or so. Some of the most famous VC firms got started as early as the 70s, and some of the biggest companies in the world were originally venture-backed. As we'll discuss in the industry overview, venture capital is a hits-driven business, and one of the biggest hits ever was when Sequoia and Kleiner Perkins invested $25 million into Google. That $25 million reportedly returned close to $4 billion. The best-known aspect of a VC's job is investing in startups, but they also have to raise the money they will be investing, and they have a limited amount of time to return more money to their investors. While VCIC focuses on investing in startups, teams that do well understand the entire ecosystem. At VCIC, you don't have to worry about deal sourcing since we'll bring the startups to you. Instead, you can focus on the research you will perform to lead your team to a decision. Which startup would your team invest in? Let's take a look at how this works at a VCIC event. Activities at VCIC are designed to emulate the investment process. First, two days prior to the event, you'll receive the pitch decks via email. You'll have two days to research the industries. Then, when you arrive at VCIC, we kick off the day with startup presentations, classic venture pitches with no interruptions. Immediately after the pitches, we separate into conference rooms and each team sits down one-on-one -on -one with each startup to ask anything you want. Over the lunch break, your team will have less than two hours to make a final investment decision about which startup you're choosing. Then, after lunch, your team meets with the judges to explain your decision-making process. This session is like a VC firm's Monday morning partner meeting. At the MBA level, the top two teams get to negotiate a term sheet with the startup they chose. The day ends with an extended networking session with the venture capitalists. Put it all together and you have a very exciting day, much more interactive than other competitions. You watch startup pitches, you interact with the founders, you pitch your ideas to the VCs, and you network with everyone at the end of the day. A typical VCIC regional event will have student teams from six different schools, two to three startups will present, and about eight venture capitalists will be there to judge. Now that you know what a VCIC event looks like, let's take a step back to look at the broader picture to really start to think like a VC. As I've mentioned, at a VCIC event, you'll have two to three startups pitching. Your team will have to pick one startup in which to make an investment. Just a quick reminder that the second set of training videos will discuss a framework for screening startups. For the rest of this session, I want to put your investment decision in one startup into context. For example, you should be aware that the one startup you pick at VCIC will be a part of a portfolio of startups in your fund. At VCIC, you'll be given a fund profile that tells you the size of your fund. 
That will, in part, determine how many companies you can invest in and how much you have to invest in each startup. You should also be aware that limited partners supply the capital. And lastly, you should know that this fund is one of a series of funds that your VC firm will raise. Usually the fund profile at VCIC indicates that you are on your second fund, meaning you've already raised a fund one with its own portfolio, and you're probably planning to raise a fund three. Let's go back and look at the one investment you'll be proposing at VCIC. The startups at VCIC are often raising a series A. That means that your investment is but one of a series of rounds. A typical venture capital investment will go through several rounds before exit. At VCIC, you are performing due diligence and making an investment decision in the Series A, but you can't do so without a vision for the future. I think a moonshot is a great metaphor here. The startup is like a rocket ship, and the VCs are supplying the rocket fuel. VCs don't launch rockets without a specific idea of how it's going to land on the moon. This will affect you directly at VCIC because you cannot determine a pre-money valuation or an investment size for Series A without having some idea of how much rocket fuel it's going to take to get there and what that moon landing is going to look like. I hope this introductory video has whetted your appetite so that you are ready to dive into the other videos and go on to win your VCIC regional event. I look forward to seeing you at the Global Finals in Chapel Hill this April.